the axe is still in the other way. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The humans talk too much. Yeah. Like the tank. I'll come back later. Okay. That's all for now. Shepard. Shepard. Grunt. Grunt, Shepard. Shepard, Grunt. Ready, Shepard. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. One time we were trying to clear out this gun nest outside a base on Beta. Nothing we did even made a dent in that thing. Someone had the bright idea to kidnap a local girl, strap grenades on her, and make her go seduce the guy in the bunker. Yes. Terrible thing, I tell you. Well, she went up there, knocked on the door, and nothing. Grenades never went off. But the guy stopped shooting, and we snuck by. Never found out what happened. Nah, uh, yikes. You smoke, Shepard. Don't. That stuff will kill you. <laughs> your kid once. Weapons dealer. Probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Dust a butt, blew himself sky hard. If the cat will kill you, it's a smoking near something here that shouldn't be. I should let you go. <laughs> it's MSJ died. That guy is weird. I like him anyway. I haven't consuming a lot for much to like extra dialogue with the, the DLC characters, but, you know, they do add something. Uh, overall, it's always a good team member. Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Jesticars. a unique place in Asari culture. Jastakars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Jastakars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Jastakars? Few yeah, Asari are. wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us. And the training has a high casualty. I can imagine they do. It is a life of constant mm. danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful and it, of us. There can't be time. too many of them. It, it, I mean, there are too Why many of them. It's like how important they are and what they, the work they do. It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. Yikes. I have memorized every word. A lot of it. There is only the code. A lot Sometimes of justice calls for mercy. It does not exist. It's a lot of uh, rules. Its purpose is to punish she, the she memorized every one sutra. of them? I don't think I could be able to do that. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicar. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. I just know she's flooding off the ground. Involved, peaceful solutions are bit. long past. You make killing sound so casual. I think that's I on purpose. Each being I have slain. Is that just because always the legs are out, though? Does the code forbid romantic involvement? 
It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. Mm -hmm. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. <laughs> I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. See, there's a way of lo looking at things. Spoke. It's just sit on our feet, that's why it looks like that way. Okay. That can't feel comfortable. I don't care who you are. There you are. Yeah, Emma. So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. I thought she was coming on to me at first. But maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Mm. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say... A really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Hmm. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. something have a few minutes to talk certainly we haven't had a chance since I joined when we met you you said you were dying yes I thought you'd want to know more you don't have to worry about the rest of the crew my illness is not communicable even to other drell it's called Keppel syndrome are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission I should be fine for another eight to twelve months the more time well. I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb yeah, oxygen. Sir. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hammer have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje. Or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Hmm. Let's see what they've got. Can help. Anything. Ooh. Mind if I ask you a few Not questions? at all. The Drill live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. 
We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. <laughs> yeah. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with them on Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend a mother, a Rashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. Hmm. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. So tomorrow is... Is there Miranda's? The way to me it was sister. But that's not gonna be open up for her. Can I ask if I let's open up? Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Well. Talk to you later, Garris. I'll be here if you so need all you want to do is calibrate. Maybe I scoot something up, I don't know. Kasumi, Garrus, and uh, I'm all stuck there. I know Kelly's doing it. I just want to make sure you're fed. Make sure. That's gonna be it for today. Um, I don't wonder. Now I'm like finishing a cast. Finishing a game cast. Um, it, you know, I don't want to get close to the end. I want to finish the end of the air today and had time to, you know, the off day so I have more time to play longer and. It just, that cast can always 